So here they come for the opening game. It's a long path to the final on February the 11th. We start here with uh, perhaps a little bit of a lopsided match, but as we discovered at the last tournament, there are no longer easy games in this uh, Africa Cup of Nations, and there will certainly be some uh, nerves, I fancy, amongst the uh, home fans and amongst the home team. This uh, Guinea-Bissau, a little bit of an unknown factor, although uh, they've got some great results of late, not least beating Nigeria in the qualifiers. Underway we are here at the Africa Cup of Nations, Total Energies 2023 in uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Postponed, of course, uh, by six months because of concerns over the wet weather. It was a good decision given uh, the problems that they've had in terms of getting the pitches ready. Well, the Ivorian coach uh, Jean-Louis Gasquet yesterday at the pre-match press conference was uh, talking a lot about counter-attack, but from the opponent. Yes, for final now, maybe an opportunity gets the shot. In. Oh, what a start to the Cup of Nations. That is a perler of a shot from Fofana. And we have a goal inside the opening four minutes of the tournament. Well, he's been a bit of a controversial figure, Seko Fofana, as far as his commitment to the Ivorian side. Uh, resisted call-up for uh, several years from the national team. He only returned earlier on this year into their colours, but what an impact he's made here. Had a wonderful season in Liga last year with uh, last campaign, I should say, with Racing Lance. He's in Saudi Arabia now, earning those Petro dollars, but what a strike this is. That's pure class and power and strength from uh, Fofana. Jalo escaping a, a little bit of an early press. Now there might be an opportunity for Kande down this left-hand side. Excellent cross, weighted in as well, and uh, bobbing around in that penalty area. That's a wasted opportunity. Right? If uh, if if he have shielded the ball, you know, uh, on his chest or in his thumb, he probably will have get away with uh, a foul. So Ivorian corner, swung in again. Header goes over the top. A little bit of disappointment there for a single centre back partner. At Monaco, uh, alongside him is Mohamed uh, Salisu, ex Southampton, now playing uh, in Liga. He's in Ghana's squad for this tournament. Be I think uh, you know the the players on the pitch need more from the fans. Oh, oof! Challenge from Mauro. Play on. Here's Mama Balde with a chance for an equalizer. Shot didn't have the power he was looking for, and the advantage played, of course, by the referee. So the chance goes for Guinea-Bissau. I think the challenge in on Mama Balde was an excellent one too, but uh, Mauro there. Oof. Down he went, and Mama Balde picked up that loose ball. Mm. The yellow yeah. card, the first one of the tournament, goes the way of uh, Indica. They are a fair amount of fans from the visiting side mm. on hand here today. Forward for uh, Cote d'Ivoire. An opportunity as Bamba plays it in. He has the follow-up. Kessier. Laid back, Seko Fofana! The woodwork denies him. Still they come. It's going to be a goal kick. That was, that was unlucky. He will have got his second goal you know, of, the, of the game. But he did everything right, controlled the ball, well, tried to put it in the corner. The same way he scored the first game, but uh, you know, it never turned out. Well, he's a big fan favorite, Fofana, despite uh, a little bit of a checkered history with the Warrior national side. He's, mm -hmm exploits in uh, France last season certainly well covered here in Abidjan and that's oh. actually an excellent yeah, save that's a beautiful save it's fingertips it was going straight in the corner possession given away now to Sangare there's a good run here from uh, Bamba Grasso steaming into the middle as well Grasso will get the touch now they are claiming the penalty What's the referee say? We are certainly going to go to VAR for this, I fancy. Yeah, but let's see what the, what the call will be from VAR. Well, it's a beautiful build-up from the Ivorians, and uh, you know, uh, no. you know, he got clapped by himself, and uh, you know, he went down so easily. Challenge from Bar was uh, from Jalo behind him, but was there any contact? Tiny little brush of the hands in the uh, back of Bamba, but very that, quickly we are back underway, yeah. and quite rightly so too. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Mauro Rodriguez, Alfa Semedo in possession now, a little bit of space, finds Balde. Balde now, 
Down he goes, and again, uh, referee not convinced. And then the challenge from uh, Kasama is going to land him in the book. Yellow card. Mane takes it to the near post. And the effort from Sangate was perhaps something they had been working on uh, previously, but didn't get the uh, connection he was looking for. Yeah. I, could, I definitely have to do much better. You know, uh, when you are, you are down, you have to in set pieces, take advantage of it, especially when you have, you know, two uh, centre backs who can use their head very well. Goal. Settle the outcome in favour of the home side. This is a good little move from Bamba. Gets the cross in, does Jonathan Bamba. It falls for Grasso. That is wonderful. <laughs> Superbly done, and just in time too. Is a look at it again. The build up, of course, yeah. came from uh, Bamba. Bamba uh, yeah. A little bit of a hesitation there, and uh, look at it, he just kept going. Everyone else was watching. That's an excellent finish. Yeah, definitely. And uh, credit goes to uh, Bamba, isn't it? because, uh, you know, he kept going, to, had, had the run with the ball in between his legs, and, uh, you know, putting that cross in. Like you said, you know, Grasso Hikola isn't giving up, but, you know, uh, good skills, good strength. And uh, good awareness to, uh, to have a good contact on the ball. And now that should lift the noise levels here. Bikol uh, most distressed with uh, the inability to clear at the back for uh, Guinea-Bissau. Jean-Philippe Crasso gets them on their feet. Little touch in here from Konate to Borga. Little chance at the back post. Joko punches it in the air. It's still in play. And Kande will clear up field. That's the statement that you're talking about. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, Boga is having, uh, he's having a good, you know, good first, uh, first game of the tournament. Over the head of Konate and uh, Pepe. A little unorthodox there from uh, the goalkeeper. Didn't make it to the last 16 at the last tournament at Ivory Coast. Beaten by Egypt on penalties. That's a good interception again from Balde. He likes snatching them away. This is an excellent chance. Franchellino with a left-footed strike. Excellent stop from uh, Fofana. Just keeping the goalkeeper honest there. That's a beautiful save. Strong hands. It's a beautiful save. Yeah. He hit it well, Franchellino, with a yeah. left foot. Yeah. Guinea Bissau player down, and the referees decided that's enough. So. First blood here at the Africa Cup of Nations goes to the home nation, Ivory Coast. Our two winners and players are all out on their feet on the pitch. It's been a real evening of physical exertion for uh, those in both Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea-Bissau colours. Your thoughts, Daniel? Now you can see after the after the whistle went, all the players just went down on their back because they have taken a lot of toll out.